Hi, this is Eric with Parts Doctor. Today we're going to show you how to install the power cable on your Whirlpool dishwasher. If you need to purchase a new power cord for your Whirlpool dishwasher, you can check out our website, PartsDoctor.com, where we sell parts for all major appliance brands. Exercise caution when completing this installation, as installing it incorrectly can cause risk of electric shock. To begin, remove the access panel by turning the retainers a quarter turn to the left using a flat-headed screwdriver. Remove the access panel by pulling forward gently, being careful not to rip the insulation. We'll need to gain access to the dishwasher's wiring harness by removing the terminal box, which is located here on the bottom of the dishwasher. Using a quarter inch nut driver, remove the screw holding the terminal box in place. Then lift the cover off the terminal box. Now install the metal strain relief provided in the kit by first removing the fastener. Then insert the power cord wires into the screw side of the strain relief. Pull the wires through until the insulation is just barely visible on the threaded end of the relief. To clamp the wires in place, tighten the screws on the relief using a Phillips head screwdriver. Insert the threaded end of the relief through the hole on the terminal box. Then screw the fastener in place, securing it using a pair of pliers. Now connect the wires using the wire nuts provided in the kit. Join the two black wires together. It is best to have approximately 1 8 inch of stranded wire above the solid wire. Note that you should not pre-twist wires when using wire nuts. Insert the pairing into one of the wire nuts and twist to secure. Repeat the same steps to connect the white wires. Gently tug on the wires to be sure both are secured. Now remove the ground wire screw and flip the washer open. Then insert the screw into the ground wire terminal and reinstall. Then tuck the wires and reinstall the terminal box cover. Align the terminal box assembly to the frame, insert the tab, and reinstall the screw. Reinstall the access cover by pressing it into place, inserting the retainers, and turning them a quarter turn to the right. With the power cord installed, plug the dishwasher and check the control panel to ensure it is getting power. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and comment down below. And for more videos like this, please consider subscribing.